Hello and welcome to Syncopa. Syncopa makes it easy to create media galleries for display on your website. Now a media gallery is simply a collection of media files like images, video, or audio files. So to use Syncopa, the first thing you need to do is sign in or create an account. Once you're brought to this page, you can enter in your account credentials or you can click this Get Started button to create a new account. Now that I've signed in, I'd like to go ahead and show you how easy it is to create a gallery. So I'll just click this Start Now button and then I'll choose the type of media that I would like to display in this gallery. So in this example, I'll choose to use a slideshow and then I'll go down and choose a skin. Now the great thing about Syncopa is it not only allows you to place your media files on your website, but it does so in a very functional and attractive way. So for example, with this slideshow, I'll scroll down and I'll choose a skin that I would like to use. I like the way this one looks, so I'll click it to get a larger preview. And you'll see this preview is interactive. I can actually scroll through, I can drag my mouse and click to go through and see how this type of skin would actually display my images. And then if I click on one of these images, it actually zooms in and gives me a larger viewing of that image. I like the way that looks, so I'll choose use this skin. Now on this page, I have the option to change some of the appearance settings for the skin that I've chosen for my gallery. So the basic settings here allow me to change the width and height options as well as the background theme, but the premium settings give me a few more options for full customization. The other great thing about the premium account is that all Syncopa branding is removed from the gallery when it's displayed. So go ahead and choose the options you'd like, and if you'd like to change skins at this point, you can do so easily by just clicking this little arrow and then scrolling through this drop-down menu and choosing a different skin. So if I choose this one, for example, you'll see that updates instantaneously and I'm presented with different customization options that I can edit here. I'll go ahead and go back to my other skin for the moment. Now if I'd like to see a preview of how this could look on an actual site with some text, I can click this preview button and here it brings up the actual slideshow in the size that it would display and it surrounds it with some text just to give you a brief idea of how that looks with some other content around it. So I'll choose close this preview and then I'll click save settings and continue. From this screen, you can choose to feature items in your gallery that you've already uploaded or you can upload new items to feature. So for now, I'll go ahead and click upload more files and I have a few different options. I can record new files from a webcam, I can bring in files from Dropbox or social media platforms. One of the easiest things to do though is just drag and drop files from your computer to this box over here. So all I'll do is I'll go over to my desktop, I'll select the files that I would like to use, and then I'll drag these over to this box and instantaneously these files start to upload. Now one of the great things about Syncopa is that you don't have to reformat your files for upload. Our free users can upload up to 400 megabytes of files at a time with a maximum file size of 100 megabytes each and our premium users can upload even more than that. We have more traffic options, more storage options available in some of our subscription plans and we'll take care of the formatting for you so you don't have to worry about that hassle. Now I can add a caption to each of these files. So for instance, this file was taken at the beach. So I'll just call this beautiful day at the beach. And then I can add a tag. So if I wanted to, I could add a tag like water beach vacation. And then I could enter in some more descriptive items, a more detailed description of sorts. So I could say something like we really enjoyed our day at the beach on vacation. Just something more detailed. And then I can click continue. And here I have the option to drag and reorder these files. I can also add more captions and descriptions to the other files, but I can just simply click and drag items to rearrange how they will display in the gallery. I can also choose any item that I don't think belongs, like this picture, for example, isn't really with this other group of pictures that I've chosen. It's not from the same day. So I could just click remove item from gallery. And now this picture won't display in my final gallery. So here I can just go and rearrange these items however I would like them to appear, just by clicking and dragging items around. I can also choose to display these items in a grid view, which may make it a little easier to visualize or also a little easier to drag and drop items in a different order. I like the order that I've chosen, so I'll go ahead and click continue. 
Once my gallery finishes creating, I have a number of different options for embedding that gallery on a site. I can choose from a WordPress embedding option, a Joomla embedding option, Drupal, Blogger, and then just native HTML too if I'd like to just embed that on any standard website. And you'll see that depending on which option I choose, the code displays a little bit differently for ease of use on that particular platform. There's also social media sharing options here. And you can choose popular ones like Facebook, Twitter, email, and then you can also click this plus button for more social media sharing options as well. Thank you for watching. If you have any additional questions or comments, please don't hesitate to contact us.